Okay. Talk to model two one four zero. I think I'll um I to play knight c six. I didn't want to play knight c six. Then I played knight c six, blocking in the sea pawn. Uh, I think I have to finish out with bishop like this. And uh, well, it's weak in d four a bit. I just play bishop g four. Oh, no, he just plays h three. Sort of standard stuff out. I don't know. Play h5, bishop g4, anyway. I'll break over the centre with d5 or play for b5. Knight d7 to c5 to e6, d4. I could play for that. I'll take on e2, h3, I'll take on e2 and play that. That's why I get d4. Combine that plan with um, playing for b5 later. So knight c5. Mind you, this is not that practical if he's going to play it for f5. Uh, maybe f5 is needed. Oh, this might be okay. I'm going to play this rook e8. Keep the dark squares gripped. Um, I'm just bishop d4 here on knight d4. Knight d4. I'll try and play knight e6. If he takes, so I'll get this pawn towards the center. So knight, knight here and then c5. Mind you, c5, this is a massive hole on d5. So, um, yeah. Mm, although c5 here looks more tempting. Let me just take on e2 first and then c5. So I've got grip on d4 still. How do I want to play for b5? Play b5 straight away or b8? Okay. Yeah. Why not clamp down on that? I suppose I could, I don't know, queen d7 provoke b3. I could get the rook to b4. Go rook a6 to b6 b4 over here. <laughs> if that's any good. Actually, I wonder about knight d4 there. Maybe I should have played knight d4. It's gone now. He's weakened his king a bit. Um, okay, I think I need to get pieces back to the first rank. This rook. First row. Uh, play bishop e7 actually. Or oh, I'll, I'll get this rook b6. Oh, I could play rook b6. Time down to that b3 pawn. Or is, that, is the rook totally out of play? I don't know. Bishop g7. Next. Hmm. Yeah, he's probably got e5. e5 is queen c6. Well, I'll play bishop g7 anyway. Maybe d5. Try to liberate the position a bit. Takes, takes, takes. <coughs> Okay. Interesting. So, Bishop 
Persian e5 here. Let's see where the queen's going. Maybe queen f7. Let's go try and go for the ending. Queen f7. And he's got bishop d8, I've so got rook, rook a6. That's right. Uh, rook b4, b5 takes, there's a thought of c4 at some point. d5 and then rook d6 after he recaptures rook d6 yeah I think that's um that's interesting I can take rook d6 now why does he let me play that it's all of a sudden quite good now on the d file Immediate threat of rook d3, wing g3. Um, okay, rook d3 here still threatens. No, it doesn't. It's got a king e2. Uh, I'll play b6. Let's pull the c5 pawn. Moment. Bishop d4. Alright. Uh, e5 then. Is he, is he going to take that to give me a pass pawn? If not, then the bishop's good there. Rook f6 maybe. Uh, what h6 first takes. Rook f6. To f2. I'll try that. Do you rook f2? There's rook d4. Hmm. I'm gonna play a check and then bishop d4 again. Just try and get in rook f2 with check or rook f3. Okay. Rook f2. Two now. Take e four. So rook f three, king e six, maybe. I'll take one e four. Got a square. I'll play e four next. Check. King g two, maybe rook g one. My king e6 to play to stop the king coming to d5. Okay. Okay, h1 maybe. Give the frets up. And there's pawns. Uh, which way to take? C pawn. To avoid to discover check from the king. Back maybe and then e4 ah or rook e3 so e4 here two connected pass pawns I'm getting the check and bring the king in d3 king d4 or e3 I think it's all over with two connected pass pawns okay yeah, that wasn't that uh, was an intriguing game. I think um, well, sometimes it's better to plan than no plan, but this was just a weird plans here. Well, I was gripping the dark squares, but this rook maneuver, I'm not really convinced. The rook was sort of out of place. So it was in like d5 later. 
giving it some opportunity, but I think maybe bishop a5 here. Bishop d8 to attack a5. Um, yeah, rook d8, bishop c7 there. So uh, that that might have been a lot trickier to handle. So he let me in with... Um, well, I mean, this, this, this is starting to be comfortable now for black. So, uh, yeah, uh, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.